Well, you guys got another video here for you on how to find and remove duplicate files on Windows 10 or any other version of Windows for free. Now, if you've got a large hard drive, most likely you've got a ton of files that are duplicates. And finding these can be very difficult. But OzLogix have got a duplicate file finder, which makes it easier to find all these files. Now, it does work with Windows 7, 8.1 and Windows 10. So go over to the website and you can download this software for free. Now, one of my biggest complaints with these particular types of companies is that they use Open Candy uh, software to try to get it installed on your system. So if we say do not send uh, information back, we can untick this. But what I would suggest you do is go to custom install. This way, when you accept their terms and conditions, you will get notified of any sort of other software they're trying to offload onto you uh, without your consent. You can see here, you accept these terms and conditions to install uh, boost speed. I don't want that, so I'm going to decline it. They don't stop there. They want to then try to install a driver update on here as well. So I'm going to decline that as well. Once you decline those two, your installation is complete and you now can use the uh, find the software to find duplicate files on your system. So with all that out the way, uh, you have to go through that just to get this software installed. But the reason why I chose this software for you guys, because it's very easy to use and it's much more user friendly. Now there's a bunch of software settings inside here, which you can play around with if you wish. But I found that you don't really have to tweak it that much just to use it. So I'll just show you some of this stuff inside here. You've got the ignore list and a bunch of other stuff inside here, which you can play with. But basically, we're just going to select our drives here. And uh, once you've got this set, you can then go ahead and choose the stuff you want to search for on the list Then go next here. Once you go next, it's going to offer you uh, some select search uh, criteria. Basically, you just select what you want to do. So ignore smaller files. You can put that in here if that's what you wish to do. Maybe you've got a load of files of a certain size that you're not too troubled about. You can put those there as well. Obviously, you don't want to do ignore larger files because they're the ones you want to find. And uh, you can ignore file names and also ignore some other bunch of stuff on here. So basically, you can see here, you don't really need to do too much. So what we're going to do is get this ready by going next here. Now you can choose the select delete option. This is the a criteria that they're asking you to select, whether you want to delete them to the recycle bin or the rescue center or permanently delete them. You can uh, choose which one suits you. So the good thing about duplicate files is you always want to make sure that the files are duplicate and they're not named the same name, but they're just different images or different files because otherwise you'll end up losing those files. So you can always check once the scan has been completed whether they are duplicates or not. So you can see here up the top here, it's just searching through both those drives and it will basically take a bit of time. So be patient and let it do its thing. Now, the good thing about these duplicate file finders is the fact that you can find loads of larger files that are taking up valuable space. Maybe you've got an SSD that you just want to free up some space. And if you've got loads of files on there that are duplicate, you can just remove them. It's that simple. So you can see it's listed them all here, all the duplicate files that it's found here. And all you'd need to do here is choose which ones you want to remove. You can remove them all, or you could just remove one or two, depending on how you want to go about removing your duplicate files here. So, for instance, you can see that it's found these ones up here. These are both duplicate. They're only small files, but basically they are duplicate files. And you can see it does give the file path where these files are stored, and it also gives the size and the last date modified for that file here. You can see there's a bunch of other files down here. And again, you just have to make sure and clarify that these are duplicate files. You can open them to make sure they are the same, but that would take quite a while, I suppose, depending on how many files you have that are duplicate. You can see here there's 920 files that are duplicate. And you can see the, the amount of data there as well and the time it took to run that uh, scan there. Now, down the bottom here, you've got the select option here. You can either select uh, the order duplicate files in each group. And you, you would just select this and it will then select all the duplicate files. 
and then you've got the option down the bottom to delete all of these duplicate files on your system by just clicking on this button here there's also some other options available by hitting the drop down to still go to recycle bin or permanently delete them or go to the rescue uh, center there entirely up to you now if you want to deselect these you can do and select one at a time so if you've made a mistake you can deselect all by going back in here and you can then go up to the area where you just want to delete maybe one or whatever it is you want to do here but i'm just showing you so you've got a good idea of how to deselect them just in case now once you go to delete them here this box will pop up and then you can click ok and it will confirm that that file has now been deleted depending on what a selection you've got you've got you view your detailed report here which is also nice so if you've got a load of files that you're deleting you can give that report so if you're in pc repair or something like that and you want to show the customer the amount of duplicate files that you've removed from that system you can give them a report at the end of that if you wanted to now when you've got the same file but different file sizes it will show up red like this so they even look the same but they are different files so they've probably been downloaded at a different time and that file has grown in size so it's not the same and then i'll just quickly show the detailed report here it gives you a nice detailed report as you can see here so that's your report there for your duplicate report it gives you the report date when it's created you can even print it out as well so that's a nice little added feature there now if you don't want to use that software for any type of reason you could use other software like Neurosoft software, which is search my files. It's free to use as well. Now, Neurosoft don't use open candy tactics like OzLogix, and that's why I like the Neurosoft's uh, options better, in my opinion, just because they're not trying to force uh, other installation files onto your system that you never asked for when you downloaded the original uh, duplicate file finder. So that's the reason why I would go with this option over the other one. That's just my personal preference. But if you don't mind it and you want to just take the ticks out of those boxes, by all means you can do, and the program is safe to use. So this is the actual program here. It looks a little bit more complicated, a little bit more complex to use, but it is a very powerful tool and it is more simple than you actually think. So just go into the search mode here and I'm going to search for duplicate search. And then you can base this on folders. So you can either search folders or you can search complete drives. It's entirely up to you. And you just select those, or you can browse for those. You can exclude certain types of folders if you've got sensitive data in those folders and you don't want to uh, run the risk of deleting any data in there. You can exclude those. And again, you can include only folders, certain folders that you want to include. There's wildcards here, and uh, you can exclude files as well. So, you can choose your extensions on there very simple now down the bottom here it will stop the search when it after finding so many files so depending on how many files you're looking to find and search for you can then hit the search uh, start search now this will start the search off now there's some other areas inside here that i'm not going to go too far into but basically you can uh, set this up for uh, file time that was created modified so that should be good enough to go now. We've left that running. But you may see some other areas which I skipped over here. So let me just quickly go over those quickly. You can see the file time that it was created. I've got this to all times and modified and uh, stuff like that. I've just left that on all times here. And you can change that if you wish. There's also this area here, find files. And you can also find folders as well by putting the tick in folders. And I've got unlimited up there. And I've just left the rest as default and let that run. Now that has obviously found loads of duplicate files because I never removed any of the other ones just so I could show you on this one as well. And there you go, it's found uh, loads of files there. So once you've found your files here, you can go ahead and start to remove them if you wish. Uh, but you can see here, it still says up the top stop. It's still doing some sort of duplicate search here to finish off. So I'll quickly uh, let that finish. It's just checking the duplicates here as you can see so that does take a bit of time so be patient but i'll stop that and basically uh, you can see a little menu system here now you can go on to options here as well and there's also the right click context menu here which you can use to uh, delete selected files or move to recycle bin and you've got all the same options as you would with any other type of uh, duplicate file search program under the options here you can just 
literally list all the duplicate files by going duplicate search options, show only duplicate files, and it will put all the duplicate files in a list. And these were all the files that it found. It's that simple. 3,262 files. So I think this was a little bit more accurate than the previous file. But again, you can uh, choose which other programs you want to use. But basically, that's how you would find duplicate files on a system. You can select all of these and then basically right click and then delete all of these files. I'm not going to delete these ones because I have got them in two locations for backup purposes. So I'm not going to be uh, deleting those duplicate files. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. That's basically how you can find and remove duplicate files on a Windows operating system for free. Uh, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching and thanks for your continued support. Have a lovely weekend. Bye for now.